Check it out. Watch the pipes. That's a return pipe right there. Nice strong water flow. Alright, solar panel comes in the door, 12 volt DC to the pump, 12 volt DC on the fan, it's going good. Got the hot water in the chest back there, and I'm doing electric right now, you can do solar or electric, I got one of those bucket heaters in there. These, by the way, are great for use in plastic containers and five-gallon buckets. They're specifically designed for that. You can see how they embed the heating element inside the stainless steel guard. All right, it's been running like 10 minutes now. Let's take some temp measurements. 93, 93.5. These things don't take long at all to heat the water up. So depending on how hot you have the water, you can get temps anywhere from the 90s, 80s and 90s, clearly up to furnace temps. Sweet. So it's kind of like a balance between the heater, the bucket heater, and the fan. Heater, of course, heating it, fan cooling it, blowing out the warm air. It's a cool conversion, no pun intended. Again, as far as heating the water, lots of ways to do that. Right now I'm doing the electric bucket heater, but you can use like propane or something like that. Or even go solar. You can do solar on the water easy. Just use like one of those copper pipe heaters or one of those plastic coil heaters and just pump the water in every so often, maybe every 30 minutes, drain this, and refill it with the water in the coil. Alright, the first thing I'm going to do is attach the fan to the 2x4s. It's two 14 inch long 2x4s. All right, now let's add the feet. It's a one inch dowel, about nine and a half inches long. We'll put one on either side. Looks good. All right, now the back bracers. All right, now I'm going to add two bracer dowels on the back, and we'll cinch them up. Then take a round half inch dowel, and it fits through perfectly. All right, now the tubing.
Make sure to face them the way you want towards the water. All right, first let's do a test run just with some hot water in the sink. Make sure it's all working good. There's the hookup to the 12 volt. That's the pump and the fan. Just drop it in. Make sure that stays down there. Sweet. Anything from 200 to 350 works good. All right, here's the piping, the pump, and the adapters. So for the pump, I'm using 350 GPH, 12 volt DC bilge pump. For the adapters, it's just going three quarter, which is here, to the one inch, to double threaded PVC, to the one inch barb. That'll fit in the end of the pipe. The pipe is one inch internal diameter, and it was a 10 foot section, so I cut it down into two five footers. Now I'm just gonna cut a little notch for that at one end, and then we'll cut a couple of holes, round holes in the other for the piping. Here's just a quick shot to show you. You can just use a five gallon bucket with these. Heater and the pump fit easily and it holds plenty of water. I don't see why you couldn't just drop the heater in like your sink or your bathtub if it's the right depth also. Finally, here's the optional speed controller. Wires just go in the back. By the way, if you want to fix the little bent fins, just a magnifying glass and a tool like that works. There it is fixed. The water's down to about 45 degrees and the air temp's down to about 55 degrees. And it's cranking. That's a 1500 CFM fan going full blast right now. This one couldn't be better. Working absolutely awesome.